Hello everybody, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Peace Farms here. Today I am with a great brother from Edmonton. Uh, he is going to explain to us uh, a group that he passionately works with. And uh, later on I will show you some of the rehearsal and footages that we have from their coming up event on May 15, 2022 this year. Uh, thank you everybody. And this is, uh, please introduce yourself. This is My name is Darren Jordan. Darren Jordan, thank you. Uh, Darren, wh where are we? Wh what is this place? Right now, we are in a, a, an amazing venue and hair salon. Uh, and it's called Aphrodisia. So, at its genesis, it is a hair salon. I see. But it's so much more. If you look around, you can see there's a variety of natural products. Uh, for, for hair, it's a natural hair salon. Uh, you will see clothing. You will see literature. Um, there is space for any type of a community activity, which happens here also. Um, a podcast was done out of here. There's, it's, a, it's a hub of, um, of activity and opportunity for people in the community to, uh, to connect and also get their hair did. <laughs> Yes, I could use someone. <laughs> uh, the the I can tell the behind you is very colorful, beautiful African patterns and designs, and uh, I was told the name of this place is Aphrodisiac. Aphrodisiac, and it does. Everybody, if you're watching this, it does what it says. This is an open studio. You're gonna see the drums and uh, practice and rehearsal later on in the other footages. Um, they do have a lot of great products paintings on the wall and uh, currently I am being um, partnered up with five the number five AIL acronym AIL and uh, we are trying to put on a spring show I believe um, I hope it's not more colorful than these uh, patterns here but it is the same group of people trying to bring art to the city and uh, the wherever the planet wide so could you tell us what that um, five AIL acronym means? Absolutely, yeah. So the acronym stands for Five Artists, One Love. Five Artists, One Love. Um, basically, this event started off as an art show back in about 2006. And uh, the idea was, I didn't feel that there was a lot of representation of black artists within uh, Edmonton. Um, and particularly during Black History Month, I didn't feel that uh, we were holding space in any meaningful way. So uh, basically put together this show where we invited five black artists from the community to have an opportunity to collaborate, to show their work. We also have an opportunity to learn how to sell their work and how to work with galleries. Um, where where can we find you guys? Well, we're, you can come to the website and it'll give you a sense of what uh, the scope of this thing is. So um, five artists, one love. Dot com. Okay. If you go to fiveartistsonelove.com, you'll get a little bit of uh, history about how it started. Um, there's an art show component, um, and then there's a music component. And so the, the art show is free and open to anybody. The music show is a, an event that has been growing over the years, and that is a ticketed event. And we're at the Wind Spirit this year, which is very significant for us. So five artists, one love. Five artists, one love. Five A-I-L. Right. And... It doesn't necessarily have to be just five artists uh, that will come to a, a show that you give, if I understand correctly. No, so that's a good point. There, take care, brother. There Sorry, are brother. Five, Thank you very much. There are five visual artists, visual artists that are chosen for the for the art show. Five visual artists, and those people are celebrated, and those people are given an opportunity to show their work. The music show ah, that you are a part of, that you're seeing, uh, we've got a number of people. Everybody from poets to drummers to dancers and a variety of other disciplines that will be on stage uh, on May 15th. I see. I see. So when when is Five Artists One Love? Is it all year or is it a seasonal? That's a good question. So it was initially um, it was initially born out of Black History Month. Ah. And that is where we held space for many years. But our goal is always to step outside the confines of that cold, shortest month of the year. I see. And, and, you know, spread this amazing talent throughout the year. So this is the first time we've ever done our performance outside of February. 
So it's a, it's a pretty significant step. For us. Why? Why do this? Uh, we have to. Right? So <laughs> it's, um, it's an awkward... I mean, who else is going to do it? We have to do it ourselves. I'm not going to wait for somebody else to, um, to celebrate the excellence that is within our community here. Um, it's on us, it's incumbent on us to provide venues for each other and opportunities for each other to uh, engage, interact, to learn about each other's culture. Because when you say black community, it's very diverse. Mm -hmm. It's very diverse. Yes. Uh, my Nigerian brother may have a very different uh, narrative than my, my brother from England. Right? Yes, yes. We may have the same melanin count in our skin. But yes. There's, um, there's some diversity within those two uh those two experiences and we want to celebrate those differences right so speaking about the differences where is five artists one love is it just in the city of edmonton for the now, province for now it's it's um it's born here it's been um nurtured and grown here and we we're constantly getting requests to bring it elsewhere so as recently as last week people are asking about if we could do it in um if we could do it in uh, calgary uh, we had uh, uh, Toronto Dominion is one of our sponsors, and uh, they had flown up some executives and some other people that were connected to uh, their bank um, to do the show, and they were saying that this would be a great fit in Toronto. Right. And so there's there's definitely a need, but um, you know I want to make sure that we've done what we can here, and uh, and like I said, us being at the Windspear is an example of um, the growth that we've had. Uh, the hard work that these people have put into this, this thing that we do. Or maybe we'll be in a position to uh, to spread the gospel of Five Artists, One Love I see. going forward. Uh, if I can ask, who is Five Artists, One Love? As in, was it started by artists themselves? Or are they strictly uh, promoting artists that they've noticed in their in their communities? So it was started by myself. I and, see. And um, as I said, back in 2006, I was an art, I'm a visual artist as well. And uh, back at that time, I just realized it felt like there was not enough representation. So then rather than doing, I, I partnered with a, a new gallery, and rather than doing a, a solo show, I thought it would be interesting, beneficial to expand that opportunity to four other people. That's beautiful. Yeah. Um, how, how does it work? How do you guys? That's a great question. So basically what happens is for the art show, um, social media, word of mouth, and at this point now, we've been doing it for 16 years. So people know. Wow, come February, 16 years. Yeah. For, so come February, people know, oh, I want to be in the show. So they'll, they'll, give, in, they'll give submissions. We do a call for submissions on um, social media. And then people will send in digital renderings of their work. And we, we choose from the work that is um, submitted. It gets juried. And we, we choose I see. a handful. And then those people are going to be hung in a provincial gallery. Our right. show is always at the uh, AGA, the, right. Alberta, the Art Gallery of Alberta. And so, as an artist, it's a wonderful thing to have on your resume. That, yeah, it was shown in, you know, a provincial gallery. That is a beautiful. Thank you. Uh, before we go, is there anything that you would want to say? Any? Uh... Absolutely. There's something I want to say. <laughs> this event has grown and been sustainable for 16 years because of you. People like you. People that know about the show experience it and then tell other people or people that don't know about the show they walk in and they commit to saying i'll be there next year and you know what i'm going to bring my neighbor or my sister or my friend or that guy that owes me money or that dude i don't like but they will tell people and the thing has grown it's grown enough that we've got traction to do some really interesting things over the last few years okay so thank you thank you so we're signing off you are your name and my name is darren